Welcome to this brief guide on how to use filters on Mastodon. You're slowly starting to get used to using Mastodon and you've started following quite a few people and maybe even some hashtags as well, but you're starting to get a little bit overwhelmed with certain content and you'd like to filter it out. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do that. Here I am on my Mastodon client and I've noticed that I'm getting a lot of Cataday posts and I'm gonna to want to filter those out so that I don't have them taking up all of my feed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to head to the preferences icon and this will bring me to my preferences and I need to select the option on the left that says filters. This will allow me to create and edit filters. Once I've done that, I'll notice that I currently don't have any filters set at the moment. So I'm gonna select the button that says add new filter. And then I'll need to fill in a few details. The first of which is the title. And if I'd like, I can set a designated expiry timeline. In this case, I'm gonna leave that as never. And then I need to choose where this filter will apply. So I have granular control. If I don't want it to show in my notifications, I could prevent that as well. And then I have to choose how I would like it to be filtered, whether either with a content warning or hidden completely. I'll show both of those today. Then I head down and I type in my keyword or phrase. If you're using a full phrase, make sure you have the whole word option tagged there. Otherwise it would filter out individual words in there. Once I hit save new filter, I can see that my filter is now applying and I'm gonna head back to Mastodon to see what this will look like. And here's my home timeline. And I'll notice that I have my filters so I can still open them up by clicking on the show anyway, because it's using that content warning based option. But if I want to edit it and hide them completely, I can head back to my preferences, back to my filters and select that edit filter button. This will allow me to make any adjustments to my filter should I need. In this case, I'm gonna say hide completely, which will basically make it behave as though it did not exist. Selecting save changes and then heading back to Mastodon, we'll see that my home timeline is now fully clean of any mentions of hashtag Cataday. Now, if I want to delete those filters, it's just as easy as editing. So I head to preferences, filters, find the filter in question, and then I can select the delete button. I'll get a prompt saying, are you sure you wish to delete this? And I'll say, yes, okay. And now I have no more filters done. And if I head back to Mastodon, I'll be able to see that those lovely hashtag Cataday posts are all back in my home timeline. And that is how you use filters in Mastodon. I hope you found this tip extremely useful and it helps you tailor your timeline to your own personal tastes. And I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to check out the channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.